Hi, welcome back to The Contour, your QGIS guide. Do you need a nice map like this for your scientific paper or report? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it in less than 15 minutes. Come on, let's start! You can see from my background that I already opened my QGIS. But before we proceed, I'd like you to check this paper first regarding the amphibians and reptiles of Aurora Province. Why? because we will be utilizing Aurora Province again for this tutorial. And you can see from the paper's map that there are points within Aurora Province indicating the study sites. And we will utilize those points as example for this tutorial. If you need those points including the other data, you can download it from the link below. Now let's close this window and go to QGIS. Close it. You can see from my layers panel that I already loaded the Aurora Province DEM, the ADM0 or the Philippines map, and the municipal boundary of the Aurora Province. Now let's load the data points or the study sites from that paper. Click the shortcut button here and go to the limited text. And under file name here click the button and locate the Aurora sites data now I have here the Aurora sites data as CSV or comma separated value to import the data let's click open now here you can see under sample data we have the point latitude longitude and the location location 1 to 6 and under geometry uh, make sure that you properly assign the X field and Y field X should be longitude and Y should be latitude now let's click add and close now you can't see the points here because it's under the municipal boundary polygon let's place this on top okay let's customize our map uh, let's uncheck this, this one, and this one. Uh, let's customize first our raster data. Uh, let's duplicate this raster data so we can create the hill shade later so we can have a terrain look on our map. Uh, let's uh, go back here, uh, double click to go to properties, and let's change the render type to single band pseudo color and change the interpolation here to discrete. Um, and then I'll use the color ramp here my, def my default color ramp and let me just invert the color so that the color green or light green will indicate the lower elevations and the, and the brown color will indicate the higher elevation now uh, we have the classification here of the elevation now let's click apply and click ok now let's go back to the other copy and uh, let's uncheck this so we can check the hill shape check this one and um, go back to properties change this to hill shape and let's use the default setting here click apply click ok and now go back to here now let's adjust the, um, the transparency of these layers so that the terrain or the hill shade will uh, reflect um, now let's go to transparency and let's say change this to 78 now let's click apply and click ok we can adjust as well the transparency of uh, the of the hill shade let's change this to uh, 78 as well and click apply and click ok now uh, let's customize the municipal boundary let's check this go to properties and let's remove the fill color so we can see the lines only um, let's change this to no brush and let's retain the stroke width here go to label to label it um, I'll go to single labels and change the value to name to um, okay and then go to text make sure that you set this to 12 
and then I go to buffer and check the buffer here uh, draw text buffer so it will have a background uh, on the text now let's click apply and click OK now you have a nice map but it's not uh, finished yet so let's uh, um, check the Aurora sites now you can see the um, sites that we obtain from the paper now let's uh, go to properties to change the size of it and put the label as well now we want to put or we want to change the color of this to red so it can appear clearly on your map now let's change this to uh, to red dot this one let's use the the red dot here and we can increase the size here uh, let's increase this to 4.8 or, or 5 and then let's go to labels here let's uh, change this to single label and under value let's change this to location and go to text and make sure that you change or increase the text size here to 12 but it depends on your need let's click apply and ok so the next steps we need to fix the label and we need to put um, a line connecting the label and the point so to do that we need to use the move uh, label button here this one and click to this label and for this window make sure that you check the location and click OK now let's uh, click this and move it here and uh, this one and this one this is uh, very useful especially when you have points like this clustering in in particular area so you have to move that and move this one here now let's add the line by going back to the label using this button uh, and then go to um, this uh, call out the uh, ABC with a line here and then let's uh, check this option now you can see the the lines here you can increase the thickness of it by going here and uh, change this to say uh, 7 yeah 0.7 now let's go back here and let's click apply and there you have it you have a nice map now now the next step is uh, uh, we will um, uncheck this uncheck uncheck and then check now let's go back to fill um, fill ADM0 data and zoom out and let's uh, change this to uh, gray color and let's remove um, the stroke line uh, select this one no pen and then let's change the fill color to gray uh, we will be utilizing this as a um, inset map so this is not our uh, main map so click apply and click ok now you have the gray and let's uh, put back uh, this and right click zoom in here and let's uncheck this one and go back uh, to this uh, data set now let's create the layout go to project new print layout and let's say I'll put here my uh, my first map and click OK now for this window you have here your paper I think the size uh, of it is um, A4 if you want to change it uh, right click and page properties and you can change the, the size here now let's add the map from our uh, main window here we need to add that here so let's uh, click this button here add map and uh, drag it to your paper and uh, let's adjust this and adjust this one and then you can adjust um, the scale of your map here by selecting this move item content and then hold your control key and uh, scroll your uh, mouse okay uh, now let's uh, add the frame um, now let's add the frame here 
let's go here and check the frame okay now you have the frame of the map now let's add the um, inset map now to add that we need to lock first this um, this map uh, we don't want that to uh, change so we have to lock this by again selecting this click this button here select and lock and lock and then let's go back to um, our main window here now let's uncheck this uncheck that one and that one and that one and let's put back the ADM 0 right click zoom to layer and now you have the Philippine map now go back to your um, uh, layout window and click this one and drag it here to add the inset map and drag again there and again we can uh, use this tool here move item content and uh, use a control key to increase or to zoom in the map by scrolling your uh, mouse so, um, let's uh, put the frame as well now let's put the frame now you have the frame let's uh, click that one now you have the frame now let's uh, put the reference um, the reference um, rectangle this one uh, select this and then you drag it here in Aurora uh, province and then let's change the rectangle style here and the simple fill let's remove the fill change this to no brush and let's increase the stroke to uh, 9 and change the color to red so it will appear here there you go okay lastly we need to add the, the legend the scale bar and the north arrow but before that make sure that you will lock your um, inset map here under layers now I just uh, lock it uh, let's uh, add the legend by clicking this tool here and drag it here uh, I won't be needing the, the ADM zero layer and the uh, hill shade uh, layer so I will remove that let's uncheck the auto update and remove uh, this one by clicking this button and this one using this button again and now let's rename this let's rename our sites double click and uh, let's put sites and then go back let's uh, check uh, municipal boundary and let's uh, rename this as well uh, by just replacing uh, the uh, small m to uppercase now let's uh, change the elevation name to elevation in meters elevation there you go now let's go back now you have the legend now if you want to adjust uh, the other settings uh, you can uh, play with the settings here and uh, now let's add the scale bar let's um, drag it here again using this tool below and there you go now um, you can customize it by uh, adjusting the setting here let's just use the default and then let's uh, use this tool to add the north arrow let, let, let's put the north arrow here there you go now to export assuming this is your final output uh, let's export it uh, using this uh, button here let's export um, as image and then I'll save it on my desktop and name it as my first map uh, click save and for this window you can change the resolution if you like but I'll retain the 300 uh, 300 dpi resolution let's click save now I just exported my first map let's check that uh, from our uh, desktop now I got my first map here now let's click it now there you go now you have a nice map now you can use it on your report or uh, scientific paper thank you very much and I hope that you learned something from this session